So now, they understand that they're in heaven on the basis of what Jesus is promising to do. They're there based on credit in a very real way. Jesus has not died on the cross yet. He's not offered his blood as an atonement. And they know, and Jesus knows, what's gonna be between this moment and him coming up out of the grave. That's not gonna be a pretty scene. It's not gonna be an easy path. So to give Jesus the encouragement and also to appeal, to make sure we are so thankful for where we are, but the only way we're going to stay there is if you come through. They're there to cheer Jesus on and to encourage him, but also to let him know they want him to pay the bill. They need him to pay the bill. They need a salvation and we would need a salvation that's not based on a promise, but based on a payment. A promise that's not based on a credit, but that is based on Christ's blood. The fact that they were there appealing to ensure that Jesus went through, that shows you that Jesus had a choice. Jesus could have chosen another route. He could have chosen to stay away, but he chose the cross because he chose Chris and he chose you and he chose us. And it's why, no irony, but it's amazing, the glory of God, Peter says what he says in 1 Peter chapter 1, where the Lord inspires him to say, for as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. It's paid. Our mistakes and our sins are mistakes and they are sins, but they have been atoned for. Through the blood of Christ, we no longer have to live under the penalty of the mistakes that we've made in the past. And every single day that we walk with Jesus, we're being freed from the power of the sin that we chose. And ultimately, he's going to come back to redeem us from the very presence of sin. But that all starts right now by accepting his payment for our penalty. And that's what Moses and that's what Elijah made sure he would be encouraged to do. Praise God, he did it, which means now you don't have to have a faith that's based on a hope or based on a credit. You can have a faith that's based on what has happened and based on Christ, not on Chris and not on yourself.